Okay, right, good morning everybody. We're going to run you through the King's exercise program. We're going to do 20 second bursts of everything. You need to bear in mind that when you do this program, you need to add five seconds to it. We're going to start with a warm up. We would ask you to do this for three to five minutes. Okay, we're going to do it for 20 seconds. We're going to start by jogging on the spot. Let's go. We're going to start picking our knees up. Nice soft feet. Keep moving those arms as well. Keep that head nice and still. You should feel that your heart rate starting to raise a little bit now. Okay, and we've done our 20 seconds for you. Please keep going for three minutes. We're going to show you some stretches now. Here's a hamstring stretch. Really, really important. You keep your back straight. You hold that for 10 seconds. We're going to switch legs. Again, we need to imagine you've held this for 10 seconds. We're going to do a calf stretch. Big, heavy door in front of us. Arms out. Lean forward. Keep that back heel nice and flat on the floor. When you've done your 10 seconds, you're going to switch legs. And now we're going to do a nice big groin stretch, one foot at, two, at 10 o'clock, one foot at 2 o'clock. We're going to lean over, we're going to push our arms out to keep ourselves nice and balanced. And we're going to lean over to the other side once we've done our 10 seconds. And we're going to stretch our quadriceps out, we're going to bring our leg up. Hold your ear for balance, we'll bring your arm up, nice and high in front of you. When you've done your 10 seconds, you're going to swap legs, bring your arms in front of you. And once we're done that for 10 seconds, we're going to stretch our arms because we've been working those hard today and every day. And we're going to swap arms. I'm going to push our elbow over our head. And we'll do the same on the other side. So if you follow the routine, you should now be thoroughly warmed up. Our first exercise is a plank. We're going to show you 20 seconds. Okay, so there's two ways we can do a plank. We can do it with our elbows flexed. Nice straight body. Or you can have your hands um, straight up so you're in a front start of a press up position. And we've held that for 20 seconds, so we're good. Next time we do it, we're going to add a couple of seconds. Now let's have a look at our program. We've done our warm up, we've done our plank, and now we're going to do some press ups. Again, we've got two options missed. Can you show us the first option, please? So our first option weight on feet, we're going all the way down and back up. Alternatively, we could go onto our knees, cross our legs, okay, and we're going to drop all the way down and then back up again. Pick the one that's most comfortable for you. We're going to do 20 seconds of press ups, off we go. In fact, we're going to do 20 press ups on the 20 seconds. Don't be afraid to swap over. If that's getting too hard, you can put your knees down. And then when we're ready, we're going to move on to our next exercise, which is squat. Okay, so for squats, we need... Feet shoulder width apart, hands up in front of you. You're going to bend all the way down, keeping your back nice and straight, making sure your knees don't go over your toes and coming back up nice and low each time. Hold it when you get down for a little three seconds and then come back up. Very smooth, it's very controlled. Your weight, your weight should be evenly distributed across both feet. Really, really good exercise for your legs. Okay, so we're starting to notice through this now. Then we've got our sit ups or our crunches. Okay, again, you've got some options here. So our first one is a sit up. Miss has got her head and her back flat on the ground. She's got her soles of her feet flat on the ground. And she's going to run her hands up her thighs, over the top of her knees to sit up. Our other option is a crunch. I'm going to have my legs folded, I'm going to have my head off the ground and what I'm going to do in one action is bring my legs and my body together. So we're going to do 20 of those, let's go. And we get the idea, so we're going to do 20 of those and add 5 each side. Next up we've got jumping jacks. Okay, this is a good full body exercise, Mr. Do you want to talk through this one? Okay, so you're going to start with hands and feet together, then as you jump up, you jump up and your arms come up, so in and out. If you want to make it harder, you can jack it in the air. Okay, really, really good full body exercise. 
Next up we've got two versions of mountain climbers. Nick, can you take us through the first version? And so our first version, we're going to be in our front plank position. You're going to bring one foot next to your hand and then you're going to swap. So one foot forward, one foot back. You're going to swap each time, trying to keep your bottom nice and low. And our other options we can stand up nice and tall. I'm going to put one arm in the air, okay, and one leg. And I'm going to swap them over as if I'm climbing up a very high ladder on a ship or I'm climbing up a mountain. So we're nice high knees. Nice high arms, full body workout, working really, really hard. You can swap halfway through if you want to. Okay, so we're going to swap round, going to do legs either side, working very hard. Okay, we're getting the general idea. Full body workout. Next, we've got sporty dogs. So I'm going to put my right foot forward and my left hand forward. And all I'm going to do very quickly is I'm going to swap them over and swap them again. And I'm going to do that. So I've done 20 foot contacts. Little bend in the knees as you land, takes the pressure off, allows you to bounce straight back up again. Do 20, add five each time. Okay, Miss, what do you want to talk to me on the next one? Okay, so our next one, squat jumps or a tuck jump. You're gonna start with your hands up in the air, your knees, you're gonna jump up, and you're gonna slap. Okay, you can. Without stopping, keep going for rest after each one. Nice and soft on the knees. Next we've got our step-ups. Okay, so for my step-ups, I'm going to start my right foot on the bench. All I'm going to do is step up and back down again. Up, down, up, down. You can do this on your stairs. You can do this up onto your sofa if your mum will let you. You can do it anywhere where there's a little bit of a step to go up onto. And if you feel flash, you can try doing spotty dogs on the step. So just swap them over. Good way to bend your knees, good way to work your hips, good for your core as well. That's our step ups. We're going to do 20 on each foot and add five each time. Right, next, we've got our tricep dips. So our tricep dips, we're going to hold on to either our step or our sofa or our chair. Um, legs nice and straight, bending at the elbow, coming all the way down and pushing back up again. If that's too hard, you can have a slight bend in your knee to take some of the weight off to push up. And that's our tricep dip. Okay. Next we've got our decline going down and incline going up to pressure. Okay, so let's have a look at what that looks like. We're going to start off with our incline press up. So your hands are going to be on your raised surface, your step, your sofa. Maybe a chair. Maybe a chair. Body nice and straight, going down and pushing back up. Okay, your decline press up, you're going to swap yourself over, so your feet are going to be raised, and you're pushing down and up. Okay, that's our lunges. 
So again, make sure you, you follow the program and do at least 20 repetitions, uh, five each time. Right, so for the next one, we're going to do some punching. We're going to slightly split our feet, make okay, everyone's shoulder bits apart. Okay, so if I'm going to mainly punch my right leg, uh, my right hand, sorry, I'm going to have my left leg forward. I'm going to have both hands up, just below my chin. Okay, and I'm going to punch. I'm going to punch repeatedly. Stay nice and light on my feet. Okay, so I'm not on my heels, get off your heels. Okay, I'm just going to punch. Quick in the hands, we can keep those arms up the whole time. Okay, so we're looking forward, we'll tuck our core in, work very hard if you feel comfortable, start going a bit quicker. Then we'll start to really, really work our arms, our shoulders, and our core and our chest. Okay, now we can really start to motor through our punches. Okay, so that's our punching. Good 20 stops. Right, next up we've got a ski sit. This one you're gonna to need to find a wall. We've got a wall over here. Everybody's got a wall. So we're going to put our back against the wall, we're going to push our feet away from us and we're going to sit so our legs are at 90 degrees. Head back against the wall, arms out in front of us and we're going to hold that for 20 seconds and then we're going to add 5 seconds each time. Stay nice and still, don't forget to breathe, tuck your core in, push your back against the wall, keep those feet flat on the floor. Again, right from our lunge, we're looking for that 90 degree angle at the knee. Try and stay nice and low, pushing your weight into the wall. Okay, when you're ready, up you come. And the last one, let's finish with a biggie. Okay, so we finish with burpees. So, we're going to start with our arms up in the air. We're going to crouch down, placing our hands onto the floor, kicking our feet back so we're back in that front press up position. Pulling our feet back in and jumping up in the air. All the way down, out, in, jump. So do six and then add two each time. To do a really, really good work now. And finally, once we've got to end our session, it might be you need to go around a couple of times because you need to work for 30 to 40 minutes. So it might be you repeat that whole process again. When you've got to the end of the 30 to 40 minutes, it's time for a cool down. So we're going to jog on the spot for two minutes. <coughs> when we've done that, <coughs> we revisit our stretches from our warm up. We start with our hamstrings. And the other side. This time we're going to hold it for 20 seconds though. Then we go to our Half stretch. Change legs. From there we can step out to the side. And the other side. And from there we can bring our leg up. Making sure your knees are together and your hips forward so you can feel that stretch in your quadricep. And don't forget your arms and your shoulders, they've worked really hard today. So do both arms, making sure we hold it for 20 seconds. Push your elbows over your head. Push the other elbow over your head. Have a good shake out, and now remember that you need to recover and you need to refuel. So you need to drink plenty of water, you need to eat some protein, some eggs or some fish, okay, and you need to make sure you have a wash and really, really carefully you wash your hands and sanitise them as well. Well done, that needs to be a good, thorough 30 to 40 minute workout. You should feel hot, you should feel sweaty, you should feel red in the face, and you should now feel ready to face the working challenges of the school day. Good job, let's go. Have a great day, see you soon.